if you are solving some physics problem using MATLAB or you are dealing with some computer graphics with MATLAB or any other similar task then you are definitely going to come across the dot product and cross product of vectors in MATLAB and in this video we are going to learn how to do the dot product and cross product in MATLAB so without wasting time let's get started basically the dot product and the cross products are essential in vector mathematics let me give you an example the dot product measures the similarity or alignment of two vectors whereas the cross product of two vectors gives the vector perpendicular to the two vectors one of the use of this cross product you will find in torque calculation so this cross product and the dot products fundamentals are really important with respect to engineering or science problems now let us learn how to calculate the dot product of two matrix so now let's have two matrix so a and b these are the two matrix and now let's see how to do the dot product of these two matrix so simple the function is dot into bracket name of both the function let's save it now let's run so here we have the result 32 so basically the dot product has been calculated by multiplying each element and then adding them together it's like this which you can see on the screen basically this type of dot product is often used in finding angle between the two vectors or determining their alignments you can say that if the dot product is zero then the vectors are perpendicular to each other now we'll keep it aside and we'll go for the next and that is cross product to calculate the cross product of two matrix first of all we'll have the two matrix so we'll use the same two matrix we'll copy this line also paste it and in place of this dot we'll write cross that's it this will do the cross product of two vectors a and b and now let's see the result of this cross product uh, for time being we'll call it result one right let's run so the result of this cross product is minus three six minus three right so this is how you can calculate the cross product one of the application of this cross product is to calculate the torque the equation of torque is r cross f so that's it from this quick short video we'll meet you into the next interesting video of matlab tutorials if you found this short video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel see you into the next video